Welcome back to episode 7 of our Let's Play series. Now, we don't actually have a quest here at the Savage Country, uh, but uh, I figured, what the hell, let's just loot it anyways. That's why it's pre-looted. If we do end up getting a quest here, we'll just have, uh, you know, double the fun. And so far, I mean, I need all of this stuff, but it's nothing super amazing. Crafting is crafting. We're going to go ahead and get up on the roof, though, and see if there's uh, any buddies waiting for us. Go ahead and check this too. Now I do see some right over there. Go ahead and snipe them out. Oh, come on. Uh, at least on my screen that like went right through his head. Go ahead and collect that. Gotta get all the polymer. All the polymer and clock. Oh. Those just spawned in. Go ahead and shoot them. Did end up getting a level off him, so that's always nice. Let's go ahead and check. The oh, nope. Okay, let's go ahead and close that back down. <coughs> looks like we got... I don't know if we got all of them, but it looks like we got a lot of them. Uh, for now, let's just go ahead and... I thought they were going to break through that a little bit quicker, but maybe we'll just go ahead and open that for them and we'll get back. Spread them all out. Uh, I see there's five or six of them. Yeah, we're probably just going to go ahead and... Nope, oh, of course, there's a fat boy down there. Let's see if we can't knock him down real quick. Get down here with these building blocks. Let them fall off the roof and take some fall damage and uh, hopefully stun themselves really bad. And go ahead and get this guy while we're waiting. Let's see how many he takes him. Oh, we already got our first customer. Let's go ahead and knock her down. Yeah, okay, I thought that one did fall into falling behind there. Got some more coming. Slowly but surely. Oh, looks like he wants to. Try to break through that little plank there, so we'll just see if we can't bring him down. And another one broke through the downstairs area here. BD top, I mean, yeah, I'll definitely take that. We'll have to switch some stuff out. BDU bottoms, uh, all right. Uh, excuse me, sir, I've been uh, window shopping here, so if you'll kindly piss off. Check out what's it, ooh. That would have been Really good if I was doing a perception build, but an idiot. Oh, let me come freaking rush you inside this glass door. I'm getting a lot of ooh. Okay, yeah, we'll definitely take that. Well, that would have been nice if we didn't already have a better one. Great, great, lovely pipe baton. We don't even use pipes. Let's see if we can't scrap the rest of this crap. Oh, hello. They always like to put stuff in the freaking roofs there. Of course, it doesn't activate until you're like right underneath it either. Check out behind this painting. Nothing really cool there. Um, you know, that would have been nice if we didn't already have something better. Go ahead and check these out. Sewing kits are always nice. Mm, better maces. I mean, um, now I'm kind of glad we did end up wasting most of the morning here because. Uh, go ahead and take that so we know how to make those. But that drum magazine is, is going to be great on that pipe pistol machine gun that we have back at home. It's going to be uh, really great. Actually, we even have the uh, purple one, or a uh, blue one right here. So we'll just go ahead and take that. And then, of course, blue pipe pistol. I mean, why not? I think we're going to go ahead and leave the aloe here. Go ahead and take the rest of these. Let's grab that. Got a lot of uh, club magazines. And, of course, he, once again, is trying to break right through the door. And uh, there was an open, an entirely open path. Literally one block to the right of it. We'll go ahead and... Pull these back. Of course. Get back. Come on. Get back. Make sure we're not getting 
swarmed on any sides. Boom! It's the first mid-air hit I've had in a while. Check it out. I mean, yeah, this has uh, been a pretty decent loot haul. Got a decent amount of stuff. Fortunately, all the purples we found have not been for the things that we've been perked into, so they're kind of useless. I guess we'll just scrap them for now. I mean, I know you could technically fill them with mods and sell them, but I don't really care to do that when they're, you know, cloth and pipe crap. It's just not worth it, in my opinion. You're going to save your mods for your higher quality stuff. We'll go ahead and double loot this thing real quick oh get back come on check those out of course that woke everybody up we'll just go ahead and put them down check the shitter real quick oh come on Looks like one of them went up. Yep, there he is. Let's go ahead and kill him real quick while the rest of them are breaking through the windows here. Come on. I mean, I don't know why they don't just try to jump out, but I'm not complaining. They keep stumbling around like idiots. Come on, bro. How much have you had to drink, huh? Yeah, you're cut off. You're cut off. In fact, we're going to cut you off by just bashing your head in. You don't have to worry about the detox. Come on. Jesus. That's a tough boy. Break that glass out. Check these out. Um, hmm. Go ahead and scrap those. Check that out. Steroids are always good, but we'll throw those away just to keep down on the encumbrance. Throw that stupid hand sandwich out. Now we're actually going to get started on the quest. Oh, misjudged that, but Constellation Prize sent it flying. Seems to be less zombies than there were before, but doesn't really seem to matter. So just go ahead and... Oh, nope, there they are. They just didn't all wake up that time. And we unlock the workbench there. And we got a couple things we're going to sell to Joel. Got what? Another three zombies in here, two lumberjacks, and a teenage girl just go ahead and let him jump around here oh yep yeah. those two were a lot easier to kill than the other one but you know it just is what it is let's check out what's in here um that'll be good for when i get the chemistry station eventually and jesus this is like the freaking third decent pipe baton I found it's like the game's telling me to go pipe batons and I'm just like telling the game like I don't want pipe batons what are you gonna do what are you gonna do just gonna have to sell them or scrap them oh, recog okay that'll be good for horde night uh, we're gonna just gonna go ahead and turn this back into jewels Whee! Um, yeah crafting bundle I mean this is an easy choice here and that completes our tier two, so we'll just go ahead and probably take this trap bundle here because the rest of these I don't really need. I mean, the farm bundle might be nice. That's. don't really have any decent ranged weapons, anyways. I uh, don't really see any tier twos I'd like to do. Let's just go ahead and do the tier one. Uh, got silver here if we hustle that we might be able to get through they're only 600 700 kilometers away or meters you know sorry I'm American I don't uh, understand this fancy metric system <laughs> but uh, we'll just uh, go ahead and check out what we got here so that was kind of a bust on the traps and we did end up buying some other magazines real quick we're able to make a uh, tier 5 or a quality five scrap iron, which we'll probably do here soon to replace any other parts that we need to, but we do have some decent armor everywhere else. And then of course we do have this new smokehouse area. I've never actually been here before. Of course there's a stupid bird there. These are small enough again that we're just 
not gonna waste any time we're just gonna double loot everything real quick and uh be like we kind of did you know two extra quests today with that ranger station that we did and then this smokehouse here go ahead and take those guys out that baseball bat's doing work and that's our second chest armor purple chest armor that's pretty uh decent so much for that uh, quality five that we unlocked but uh ooh, okay okay you know we went uh <laughs> got that blue from savage country and now we got a purple so i think that uh same day a massive upgrade that's pretty good it's probably going to be our horde knight weapon from now on go ahead and actually do the quest now go ahead and get these mushrooms See what else we can get. Finally got that stupid vulture awoke. Oh. <laughs> Dodged, but ended up not mattering. Got the rest of these guys awakened now. We're going to bash them in. Just bashing, bashing, bashing. No, I don't have any thrashing or crashing. Just straightly bashing. Go ahead and reload on the off chance we got something crazy coming up. I think I did see a little wandering horde over there. Just loot some stuff. Oh, yep. Here they come. At least some of them. Let's see. We got three so far. Go ahead and get them out. Luckily, they're just normals. We'll just take care of them really easily. Oh. Check the duffel bag. And yeah, I see some more over there that are just kind of Ooh, that'll be decent to put in the baseball bat when I get a higher quality one. See if we can do this quietly. Okay, rad remover. That's going to be probably going right in that purple pipe machine gun when we get home. But let's see if we can't. Nope, it looks like we. Okay, crossbow. We'll probably sell that to Joel. And get some of that. We'll take that laptop again. And yep, yeah, they are super interested in us now. Let's go ahead and see what we got going on over here. Let's see, we got two. And again, they could just come right to me, but instead they're just like, ah, oh, let me break through this and get to you. Even though I could get to you way faster by just walking around. Oh, see. That one's actually halfway intelligent. I don't got any else. We'll just kill this chicken real quick, harvest it, and say screw them. They can sit there and pound on that stupid fence all day long for all I care. Because we're going to be long gone. Well, I guess actually we'll just go ahead and get this lumber real quick. And then we're going to, well, <laughs> actually spent too much time. And they, uh, one of them ended up breaking through the fence, but didn't end up mattering. We're going to go ahead and check back in with Joel and see what we get hopefully it's something really good no so pipe bombs yep just uh pipe bombs go ahead and get another job let's see we got a buried supplies yeah I think uh, we're just gonna do a couple more tier ones and then call it a night for tonight go ahead and that out and this is actually the first I've ever done one in this kind of super mountainy hill location so hopefully that doesn't screw it up but uh, we'll just check in periodically and commence to digging and we did end up getting a wave of zombies I think just mainly those two the rest of these were yeah, we're not really going to waste any time. Screw it. It's getting kind of late. Hopefully we can make it back in time. Uh, it's kind of a race against the clock right now. Uh, I did find this duffel bag. It's probably going to cost us being able to turn in the quest tonight. But uh, what are you going to do? And Yep. Wasted all that time to loot a cowboy hat. That screwed me out of a quest reward tonight. Well, we'll just go ahead and haul it in and end up working on the base and uh, just go from there see what we can do and see what needs to be done 
So, uh, unfortunately, I did have a little bit of a technical issue. About three fourths of my video did end up getting corrupted. I only have the nighttime. Uh, we did end up finishing uh, like two more quests and uh, didn't really get anything. Super note. Uh, I did get that double barrel shotgun down there um, in one of these quests and looks like we actually have a little wandering horde. Hopefully they don't get attracted to us right now. Don't even have anything going on. I mean, forge I don't even think is running or don't have anything cooking and yet here they are still wanting to find us, still wanting to eat us. For now I think they're just gonna congregate over there in front of Joel's and we'll clean them up in the morning or if they uh, get attracted to us eventually. But for now I think we're gonna just go ahead and get back to finish building. Go ahead and finish some of this area and get it filled in. Uh, we will eventually upgrade these to cobblestone. Um, we have this area finished and then we have one more level that we need to go up before we'll add a sniper's nest and then probably even a, another little sniper's nest on top of that kind of like you see on the old timey ships and we were able to unlock the workbench and get that crafted so we'll go ahead and get that set into place hopefully I think right here will be good and then we'll go ahead and put that to use and craft some farm blocks here real quick Still need to up the ante and I don't really want to have to craft those myself because then that keeps me from being able to repair my tools. So go ahead and see what we need for those and get those crafted. And while those are crafting we're just gonna go ahead and oh looks like we did end up retracting uh, somebody. Looks like just one and she killed herself on the spikes. Cool. I mean, the less I have to interact with them right now, that'd be great. Looks like there's one over there. Go ahead and just start filling in these to cobblestone. That way, whenever the stupid vultures start spawning on Horde Knight, they will be a little bit more protected versus wood. I mean, they tear through wood pretty quickly, but cobblestone does take them just a little bit. And we ended up getting a few more of them from the horde that wandered over. Just go ahead and take them out. Sometimes you want to make it a little personal. I think we got some more coming, but I think they're going to end up killing themselves on the spikes. So uh, I've said it before, you know, you don't get XP, but I mean, it's day 11 and I'm like level 36 or something, 35, so... I don't think I'm doing too bad at the leveling department. I think we can uh, afford to sacrifice a few XP, especially when we're upgrading and building like crazy. I mean, you can even just look down below in this little time lapse here. Is, uh, my XP bar just goes up and up and up and up the more we upgrade. And so, of course, you know, it's kind of a free XP there. Go ahead and fill in these farm blocks now that they're done and go ahead and get some stuff planted, get our renewables going, let them grow over time while we're building and questing and whatnot. Go ahead and go up here. Um, I don't really have any real method, rhyme, or reason to this. I just basically put them all down and I try to put the corn to the outer rim because it is taller than the other one so it's easier to see on the outside in case I don't see it. I also have a, another trick I read about on Reddit that I'm probably going to try out and see how well that works but it was uh, to take mushroom spores and put them down into your main crafting area wherever your living area is and they will grow uh, on the same rate as all your other crops so when they're fully grown and you see them downstairs fully grown you know it's time to go clean up your uh, crops upstairs. So go ahead and Put those downstairs. I think we'll just put them um, somewhere that's going to be like highly visible. I guess right here and right here. That way, when I go around to check things or go to leave, I'll see them. And of course, we're going to go ahead and craft what ammo we can right now. When we didn't end up making it to uh, morning time. We're going to go ahead and clean up this little horde here. Uh, we'll go ahead and kill that deer. Let's see. We'll go ahead and oh, it's like she's more interested in the deer than us right now. But 
can't let her eat it because we want to eat it. Ooh, let's loot back. Let's see what we got real quick since we got some time. Um, okay. All of that's really cool except for the stone shovel. That's kind of lame. Oh, come on. See? Okay. Oh, well. Spoke too soon. It totally felt like they uh, covered themselves up now that I complained more. And I'm going to go cut some uh, wood until Joel's done after I harvest this deer. And then we'll check in with him for a quest real quick. See what he's got. Uh, we'll probably pick up the quest in the next video. Uh, I don't think we're going to end up having enough time in this quest or uh, in this video to see it. But let's see what we got. So we got tier threes. Um, yeah, let's do a let's do a tier three quest. So uh, thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. And when we pick up the video next time, we're gonna start off with a uh, tier three quest, and then go from there. And you know, probably do a little bit of building. Hopefully, we get uh, some upgrades or something. I need to make concrete soon. But uh, see you next time.